Let's do some calls of the day. Uh, we're going to start with Netflix. Price target increase to 685 from 570 UBS. New 52 week high today. Jason Snipe, you own the stock. Yeah, listen, I mean, it, to me, they're, they're a clear winner in the space, obviously. Um, 29 million new subs in 2023. 20 through 20, 2020 through 2022 is average around 21 million. But I think the big focus for me is their focus on profitability over sub growth, right? And I think that's where they are winning. They're increasing prices. You know, so all the metrics are, win, are working, paid sharing as well as ad sports. Since we're talking about streaming, I, I should let everybody know that CNBC.com's Alex Sherman within the last hour breaking a story that Warner Brothers Discovery has halted merger talks mm -hmm. with Paramount Global. So we'll keep our, uh, we'll keep our eyes on that uh, as we look at the whole streaming complex. As you take a look at uh, both of those stocks, looks like Par Paramount's losing a, a little bit on those reports. Again, by our own Alex Sherman, CNBC.com. You can go there and read his full uh, recap of that. Uh, Lily talked about that earlier, Rob Seachin. Price target goes to 850 from 680. Berenberg. I don't think I need to tell you why there's so much optimism around this stock. It is getting a little expensive, though, no? It is. In fact, one of our next moves is probably to trim the name. We've owned it for a long time. I think you still, like we've said, have to respect the momentum that's in this market as the most powerful factor. These, uh, these revenues are growing at 600 percent year on year for these drugs. They're 30 percent of total revenue. But at 43 times, it's a different place than we entered the company. GE price target to 177 at Wells. Snowflake price target to 290 at City. Stephanie Link has both. So GE has an analyst day uh, on the 7th of March, and I think they are going to reiterate their long-term targets uh, for low double-digit organic growth, uh, margin expansion. I think there's a lot they can do on cost-cutting. That's, that's for aerospace. Yeah, that's for aerospace, but that's really what I kind of care about because mm -hmm. they are spinning out Vernova in the mm -hmm. second quarter. Um, and so I do think, though, that uh, there's a lot they can do in the cost-cutting front still because their SG&A is 14% of total revenue, and well, something like Raytheon is 8%. So I think there's a lot more that they can do there. Um, and of course, we will get more details about Bernova on Snowflake. Yes, this one I am scared about, Scott, as I always <laughs> am scared about a lot of earnings, but I do like the story. Uh, data is the lifeblood for AI. That's what these guys do in size and scale. It's a new product cycle story. I do think they're going to guide 30% product revenue growth for the full year. That's good. Only problem is it's expensive. Uh, I have every intention of buying this on, on the on a pullback. Okay.